Yeah, fools. Big T here with another video letting you fools know that Nintendo Switch will be treated like Wii. Occasionally. <laughs> um, as you guys know, uh, Switch is a very successful console. It is to be compared with the likes of Wii, um, even though a lot of times it keeps getting compared to Wii U. I kind of get that because, you know, Wii U was obviously the Nintendo's last home console and the Switch is uh, the, you know, the Switch is that now. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people want to compare it to Wii U all the time, which I feel like it should be compared to Wii more often um, for, you know, a myriad of things. Uh, basically, it, it, it's continuance of motion controls. The split Joy-Con thing definitely reminds me of the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Um, there's just aspects of the console that feel revolutionary like the Wii over the uh, evolutionary uh, section that is the Wii U. Um, and I, like I said, I need to update that video, uh, the one where I do revolution, the evolution, the Nintendo, Nintendo cycle, because the Switch definitely fits into that. Uh, but that's another video I need to get to. But anyway, um, basically I'm talking about like third party here, uh, where uh, the Switch to this point, you know, hasn't gotten like major quote unquote triple A, which is not a term I like to use because triple A just means big company apparently and big budget and not quality of the game itself. But uh, I have to use it but because that's what everybody uses to define it. But the Switch to this point hasn't really gotten a whole lot of that. Um, it definitely hasn't gotten like time, you know, uh, time and date like triple A where a big quote unquote triple A game will come out on you know PS4 and Xbox One and it'll come out on Switch as well. And we've gotten that with like ports, you know, we've gotten like with uh, remastered stuff, but it's been rare as far as day and date uh, with the other consoles, a major new game. Um, and then and when we do get that, it's something that's off, you know, it's, uh, I believe NBA 2K18 was later than the other versions, if I'm not mistaken. Well, at least the physical version was. I think it came out day and date with everything else. So that's an exception. Um, uh, but uh, FIFA, you know, situation of FIFA um, and EA in general. Um, but I can't really think of a major game at this point that came out the same time. Again, I'm not talking about remastered versions like ports i'm not talking about la noirs and things like that and we got obviously we got dark souls coming um and i'm not talking about well obviously we can't even talk about skyrim because that was a year later but that's because the switch came out later uh, than it could have been on this uh on the switch so it's just we haven't gotten that we haven't gotten to that point yet and i'm not sure if we ever will i think we will at some point but you get to a situation where the the, the switch, um, you know, its power or lack thereof will come into more play in the next couple of years. And maybe you don't get um, a day and date version of the same game that you get on the other consoles because of that. So we're, we're in this window right now where we could be getting this, but because again, the switch is a new console Developers aren't ready to have those games aren't ready to be released at the same time So it's just like what do you do at that point and That's why I, I made this video. Um, I don't know how long ago a few months back uh, Sometime late last year, maybe where I said what do you think the switch will be? Um, actually, it was probably before that it was what do you think the switch will be we think it'd be more like uh, GameCube, or you think it would be more like Wii? And I came down on the idea it'd be more like Wii, and a lot of people seem to think it'd be more like GameCube. And GameCube got the day and date stuff, you know, they, um, with a lot of stuff. They didn't get all the third party support, obviously, but when they did, those games came out the same day for the most part on Xbox Original, on PS2, and on GameCube. Those games usually came out on the same day. 
and I didn't feel like um, that would happen on Switch because of one, um, it's media uh, being the cartridge based and that causing you know some issues with you know, space and all that kind of stuff. So maybe it take a little bit longer to compress and get those uh, carts burnt or not carts burnt, but carts produced to have the games put on them. So you have that issue. Then you have the you know the fact that it's not as powerful. So you might know, have to have a different team or something port it, and so you have that issue. And so I always thought, you know, if we did get it great, um, but I didn't think, I thought it would be more like a Wii situation, and it seems to be more like a Wii situation. And I say occasionally, but more often than not, uh, the Switch, uh, as far as uh, how it's treated by developers, is closer to the Wii than it was uh, than it is to like the GameCube situation. So um, it's uh, turning out to be that way. And so I guess we have to, you know, come to terms with that. Um, for me, the Switch was always going to be a Nintendo box first because um, that's the reason I mainly buy Nintendo consoles is for Nintendo games. And uh, I like the I, I like how Nintendo has the makes developers think outside the box and maybe they'll make a specific game for a nintendo hardware um that didn't happen as much on gamecube but it certainly happened on wii and in 64 um, where you got games that were specifically designed for that platform and you didn't see it on other consoles so it was basically a third party uh, exclusive uh you know so you got that so i think we'll get more of that which actually excites me more like ports or not ports but like similar game that that was one of my things with the gamecube um my i don't want to say knocks against it but the thing one of the things that made me less excited for the gamecube than a lot of other people were a lot of people care about you know having third party games and um having similar games than they have on their other consoles i'm not one of those people especially when it comes to nintendo i want different uh when it comes to nintendo so yeah, it's cool we get more third-party support we'll get more games that um we're used to on the other consoles but what excites me more about nintendo consoles is the difference is the fact that um nintendo is a quirky company and they have a different type of philosophy and they make special specific types of games that excites me and the fact that they also push developers to say well we want to make something specific for this platform people get annoyed by that and occasionally i do too there's that word occasionally again Occasionally I do too, but I'm ultimately really excited about this stuff because you get stuff like No More Heroes and you know, you get games like that. Um, and we're getting, you know, Travis Strikes Again, which is, you know, we didn't get that on Wii U, but we're getting it on Switch. And to me, that's more exciting than getting, you know, Call of Duty day and day, Assassin's Creed day and day, that kind of stuff where, you know, a lot of gamers want, but. For me, it, it doesn't matter as much. I want the uniqueness on my Nintendo console, especially, especially a console as unique as a Switch is with the abilities, its capabilities, its split Joy-Con nuts, nuttiness, its uh, portable aspect. Like, I want something cool and different with that console. I want, you know, the core Nintendo, con uh, core Nintendo games, but also want like quirky or different types of third party output on it. And, uh, Maybe some games that I didn't get in the seven gen that would come to the the Switch as a third party um, port, uh, enhanced version or whatever. So uh, that stuff to me is more exciting. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you adhere to the fact that Nintendo Switch will be treated like the Wii occasionally, more often than not? Uh, or do you think, no, it's eventually gonna have everything same day date as the other consoles. Uh, obviously still a quote-unquote lesser version, but um, You know, it'll still happen. So let me know what you think in the comments below as always Thank you guys for watching and listening and I'll uh, see you fools next time. Peace out